a lot of pua is toxic. Um, I'm starting to realize this as somebody who's been in pua for a while. Um, there's a lot of manipulation going on and there's a lot of fooling going on. But in, in addition to that, a lot of what they teach is fundamentally toxic. And it might sound good on the surface um, and there might be some good in there but it has a layer or a veneer of toxicity that is almost kind of imperceptible at first glance just because it sound because of the way it's packaged it sounds so good like oh yeah all I gotta do is change the way I think and self improve and do these things and then girls will like me and it's there's a lot of manipulation of even just different layers of manipulation, different spheres of manipulation, psychological manipulation, emotional manipulation, as well as manipulation of your outward appearance and things like that. Which, again, some of that can be healthy and good if it's in a healthy growth way. But I look at Pua kind of like a cult in a way now that I've been in it for, for, for a few years and there are some occasionally healthy uh, tidbits there, there are things within it that can help you and there are things within it certain mind states etc that it, you can touch into but taken as a whole it's not a honed philosophy in the sense that it's Yes, this is really going to be always be beneficial for you as a man. Yes, this is really going to be healthy for you on multiple different levels. There's a lot of toxicity and there's a lot of smoke and mirrors. And there's a lot of hard cells. Or there's a lot of subtle manipulative selling going on in Pua. Pickup artistry. And... I'm not saying that a lot of their their core philosophies don't necessarily work per se. I'm not saying that. I'm not saying it's top to bottom fraudulent. I'm saying that a lot of it is toxic. A lot of it is unhealthy for men in general. And on top of that, it is marketed and advertised really primarily to guys who are kind of disenfranchised to guys who don't really have positive male role models in their life. I think guys who really don't know how to be a man, don't know how to have confidence, don't know how to have courage, don't know how to have conviction in themselves, don't know how to have self-esteem, don't know how to believe in themselves. And that's dangerous because when you start to have a target market that is fundamentally disenfranchised, fundamentally on a core level, essentially uh, weak, so to speak, then you, you, you're running into problems. You're, you, you're, you're, it's not even that you're running into problems, it's that you're, there's something shady about that. It's like a, it's like a wolf who is seeking out the weakest uh, elk or whatever it's like the the wolf who is who is seeking out the weakest link in, in a in a pack of uh prey right oh this one's weak this one's kind of sick i'm gonna go after this one and i'm gonna attack this one and get my meat that way so these these, these pua guys are almost like wolves they're almost like marketers who wolf like marketing who use wolf like marketing tactics to specifically kind of psychologically uh, manipulate and penetrate the minds of weak men, young men who are disenfranchised, really probably didn't have good male role models in their lives. We've got a lot of those guys in this, in, the, in, the, in these genera these, these new, d these new decades recently, the last few decades because of, because divorce is so prevalent. We've got a lot of these guys who and, and there's so much pressure on men to, to make more, more and more money so they're busy and tired all the time. We got a lot of guys who don't really know how to be men, who don't know how to have confidence in themselves, don't know how to have conviction, don't know how to be happy and things like that. And so they're easily manipulated. And I see this 
more and more and it's becoming more and more glaringly obvious as I t- as I it touch Pua uh, people as I interact with them there is a there's really a barrenness to these guys's um, you know emotions and psychology uh, there's a barrenness there they they're weak and they latch on to poo etc and there's a lot of toxicity <clears throat> and there's a lot of toxicity from the top to the bottom <clears throat> um, <clears throat> there's a lot of um, manipulation there's a lot of con men there's a lot of guys who are coming in and using these weird philosophies and smoking mirrors in order to make money off of these guys in order to make money off of these these depressed guys who who can't get laid who can't get a girlfriend because they really don't know how to go go out and talk to women now there is something to be said about learning how to go out and talk to women. There's something to be said about how to be social and how to present yourself and how to make yourself a better catch that women are more attracted to. There's something to be said for those things. But these guys are making a killing on this and they're and they're preying on these guys and they're sort of exploiting these guys' weakness of not wanting to be alone, etc. And they're, they can be helped. Some of these guys can be helped and some of these guys can um, benefit from some of the information and, and if they change in certain ways they can benefit in some ways they that can happen and that's possible but there's a lot of toxicity in there there's a lot of certain practices there's a lot that there's no moral foundation rarely do the pool coaches say this is how you keep a girl this is how you treat a girl right this is how you have a good healthy relationship with a girl this is how you find the right type of girl this is how you find a, a quality girl these are the things you should look for in a quality girl Th- those things are never talked about it's always playing to the weakness which is they are scared to go talk to girls or they don't know how to talk to girls or they're awkward etc and it's always playing to that weakness here's how you do it here's the technique and, and some of these guys these top guys are really just kind of wolves they're wolves man they're they're just they know that there's a weakness there and they sense it and they know how to exploit that weakness in order to get money from these guys and it's kind of sick it's kind of it's toxic man um and really these guys need proper male figures they need to to understand how to be understand how to have character understand how to have quality masculine character because when you have that you feel fulfilled and you don't need to look for validation in women one of the biggest things that i see is because these guys are weak they're looking for uh, validation and they're looking for that dopamine effect that 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 re- reward effect when they get the women and they're realizing that oh this isn't fulfilling and nobody has taught me how to have a real relationship nobody is is teaching us how to find quality girls so we're not being fulfilled on a deeper level which i think is important for men it's important for men to be fulfilled on a deeper level than just sex particularly kind of risky even i would say toxic sex uh in in a lot of cases you can have sex and you can have a sexual relationship with the girl but it doesn't have to be weird and toxic and i think these these approaches and these techniques that that they teach kind of often you know lead to that they lead to sort of a toxic sexuality which isn't long lasting or isn't deeply fulfilling uh, which is often one night stands with and, and even subpar girls and things like that and these guys are so desperate they play off of that desperation and what these guys do with that desperation is they take these techniques and they go out and they get you know you know they get themselves all hyped up and they go out in groups with wingmen and things like that and they get all hyped up and oftentimes they they seek girls that are not really beneficial to them that the sex might not even be good and it might even be dangerous risky scenarios they're putting themselves in and particularly in this day and age with the me too movement and all these crazy vindictive women out there so there's a lot of dangers man a lot of dangers